Welcome to yet another episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. In this episode I've been playing a fun little platformer called Beavers. It was developed by Arc Development and published in 1994 by Grand Slam. As with most CD32 games, this is a re-release of an Amiga game that was released the year before in 1993. In Beavers you control Jethro, the lead singer of the band called The Beavers, who has just hit the top spot in the UK charts pushing their rivals, the rabbits, down to second place. This enrages the leader of the rabbits, so he grabs his gun and kidnaps your wife. Now you, as Jethro, must traverse a great number of platform levels in order to save the love of your life. All of this is told in a cute little animated intro in the beginning of the game. Initially, I didn't really like beavers. It starts off with this annoying level that is automatically scrolling towards the right. And if you don't keep up, you'll die immediately, meaning that you'll need to run and jump in order to survive. A very confusing level to introduce you to a new game indeed. That kind of put me off on the game from the beginning, and I almost put down the controller early on. But my most important rule when doing these reviews is that I'll play the game for at least one hour. So I suffered through the first level, and boy am I glad I did that. There's a gem of a game to be uncovered in the following levels. Beavers is a great little platformer with some light puzzle elements added in by having different items to use, levers to pull, buttons to push, and so on and so forth. The graphics are enjoyable and cute, although a little more movement in the backgrounds could have made it a bit more interesting. The soundtrack is very nice as well, but most importantly, as this is a platformer, the controls are tight and the level of challenge is good, so you're going to feel yourself getting better all the time and therefore you'll want to keep trying when you fail. When moving through the levels you need to pick up as many stars as possible and you need to get a certain amount in order to open the exit at the end of the level. But the stars also replenish your energy as with every 8 stars collected you'll replenish 1 unit of lost energy. But collecting the stars is not enough. For some strange reason you also need to pick up a raccoon skin hat in most levels or the exit will be closed. This means that you need to be meticulous when going through the levels, searching for stars and the raccoon hat. Every 6 levels you'll encounter a boss, and if you get past the boss, you'll get a passcode that allows you to start at that point the next time you want to play the game. While the boss fights themselves are in no way epic, they're still entertaining, and they're spaced just right. You'll be fighting frantically to get the passcode, simply because you've been working so hard to get to that point in the game. Let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about beavers on the CD32. Amiga Format gives the CD32 version of Beavers a 67% score, and they awarded the original 75%, writing that Beavers isn't a marvelous game, but is competently written and introduces another likable character. But looking at legends such as Sonic, it feels as though Grand Slam could have made so much more of their new invention. Amiga Power gave the CD32 version 53% and the original 71%, stating that it's pretty basic stuff, lots of jumping around, taking out the odd baddie with a swipe of your spade-like tail, flicking the odd switch to operate lifts and such like, and searching each level for the Davy Crockett hat that will enable you, for reasons best left to the imagination, to go through to the next stage. Don't get me wrong, I really liked my time with Beavers, and it's a game that I'll probably revisit sometime. But considering that this game was released in 1994, I can't award it more than 3 out of 5 points. It's a good game, but it hardly fits on the 32-bit platform. There are plenty of better platformers out there on the 16-bit machines. <laughs> 